So one thing I love about Narciso, he gave me these beautiful, elegant clothes. And it really started changing my aesthetic of what I was wearing on, on stage more. When I think of Narciso Rodriguez, I think of a designer who's building the future. But there's a new long and languid line in his latest collection, which is just a little bit nostalgic. I guess I was looking at so many great pictures of Carol and Bissette Kennedy and Kate Moss and the 90s and looking at things that I did in the past and wanting to do them again, but in a completely new way. You always think of him as a modern designer, but he really did go back to very vintage kind of roots, and I loved it. To me, that was the 90s. It was very much the post-Calvin Klein slip dress, but personalized because of Carolyn Bessette and how they dressed. There's a sense of length, but there's always a sense of leg as well, because they're open to here, rides up, it moves, it skims the body. It's very sensual. It was a very 1920s, 1930s kind of a feel. I thought it was very old school. It was very pure in the sense of fashion, where they used to wear slip dresses, but it wasn't just a slip dress. It had incredible detail to it. This print was actually pink and green before it was decolorized, and it just left the impression, the memory of a, of a leaf lined in something that's very sensuous against the skin. I see that chameuse and it makes me think of Jean Harlow. They conjure up such glamorous images of women who had great bodies and great style and felt so comfortable showing off their curves, those bias cut gowns. Narciso is a very experienced guy. These guys who have experience and creativity can really knock it out of the park.